Hey everybody, Rob John Webb here, and what I'm going to do today is not a tutorial, is not a tip or a trick or a disco loop. It is about Spotify Unwrapped. So it's that time of the year where all the artists start putting out all of their streaming uh, stats across the Instagram and across their social media, showing the millions and millions of plays that they get. However, what I'm about to do here is show you a little bit of the truth behind some of this. Uh, not all, but some. Um, and before I go any further, I'm not here to criticize anybody, attack anybody or expose anybody in any sense of, of the word at all. This is just simply a honest observation. And I'm also going to show you my honest stats um, and the reason behind those. And then um, I'm going to talk about stats of other people as well. I'm not going to mention any names, but I'm just going to say the true reflection of what really does go on with Spotify and Wrapped. Okay, so as I say, it's come out, everyone's doing it. There's millions of millions of streams being put out on these little, um, you know, uh, images on Instagram and so forth by a lot of big names, small names, medium names, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, it's great to show that and share it with your fans and all that kind of thing. But the truth is a little bit different to the actual figure you see in front of you when you're scrolling through your social media. So let's get stuck in. So basically, the figures of what you see, for example, an artist, somebody you know, somebody you follow, etc. It's a DJ, dance producer, whatever they are. They've got six million streams this year on Spotify alone. We're not talking about iTunes or Deezer or Tidal or YouTube. We're talking strictly Spotify. They've got six million view, uh, streams on there. OK, and they're like, thank you, fans. fans. It means so much, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's great and it's a great it's a great boost for the ego of the artist etc and it's great that your artist does that well but the truth is the majority of those streams come from thousands and thousands of playlists that that song is on okay people that have six million streams the majority of people that listen to those songs aren't specifically looking for that artist and seeking them out i'm not saying it doesn't happen obviously someone like ed sheeran it would because these are global superstar but for your average kind of dance producer and stuff those millions of views do not reflect that artist or dj's popularity okay so for example i've looked at a few artists today um and they basically one's got six million streams and they're eternally grateful for the fans and so forth however the point is they all come from playlists and if they had those many that many fans on their social media they would be pretty much up there with calvin harris and you know carl cox or whoever you know whatever i'm just using that as an example they would be up there with the big stars of dance music you go onto their social media on their instagram they have six million spotify streams but they only have three thousand followers on instagram it doesn't add up you see so basically they're all been put through playlist after playlist after playlist and the songs are so they're not specifically being followed um or purposely sought out and that's not an attack that's just a fact that's just the way it is um myself this year i have only put out five singles myself okay and i've been a little bit slack but i've got a lot of other things going on in my life you know i've got a job i've got um you know uh, i do mentoring i do youtube videos i do um you know, a lot of private tuition, I do blogging, blah, blah, blah. So I'm busy doing other stuff. So when I do release a single, it's kind of like I put it out and I let it just sail with the wind and just see what happens and where it goes. Um, however, there is another reason why a lot of these things are bumped up on playlists. And that is because artists submit their music to playlists and they pay for that. OK, so there's a website is one example called submithub.com um, amongst the hundreds that are out there. But submithub, submithub.com is one of the bigger ones. And what you do is you submit your track. So you release a single, you put it up on their website, you register an account as an artist, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and you have to pay usually a dollar or sometimes two dollars or three dollars sometimes, depending on the popularity of the playlist. You pay them to listen to your track. If they like it, they will add it to the Spotify playlist. So whether or not your track gets chosen or not, the playlist curator still gets the money. So they're kind of the real winner here. Um, so all they have to do is listen to your track within two or three days, get back to you, review it, say yay or nay, um, and they put it on the playlist. And then it bumps up. So if your track is on there and you're a you know a producer, part-time producer, whatever, you know, and you've got a track on a, a new disco playlist, chances are on that new disco playlist you will have Daft Punk records 
or you'll have you know someone a little bit more bigger with all due respect like calvin harris for example you might have one of his kind of funkier tracks on there so when those artists are on there the algorithm picks that up and plays those tracks and pushes those through and all that kind of thing goes on so they're the truths of you know why many people have massive amounts of streaming on spotify but the reality is their social media does not reflect that at all so the reason behind me doing this video is that i don't want my uh, you know i don't want artists to to be you know um put off by that oh well i can't compete with them they've got six million hits i've only got a few thousand plays so forth don't let that stop you from releasing music and trying to get yourself out there you know for the future because it ain't a true reflection of what it is you know um so as i say i've released five singles myself this year and if you can look at the screen now you can see that i have twenty three thousand point one streams six and a half thousand listeners two and a half thousand two thousand hours and 118 countries so um that is because i've only released a handful of singles and i basically haven't pushed it i haven't done any submit hub um I released an album back in February, which was basically all of the singles I released last year and the year before, but just condensed into radio edits. I'd edited them down from 12 inch mixes into radio edits. And that's a, a bump there. It's, a, it's probably about five or 10,000 there from that album. Um, but basically, a lot of people will add me to playlists um, of a similar sort of thing. And if you look at the screen now, you can see that 1,427 people added me to playlists this year. So basically, they will go onto playlists with other artists, and chances are there'll be bigger names in there, or there will be bigger names in there. Um, and that bumps up the playlist plays. So those people that are listening to those playlists aren't actively seeking me out as such. They're just adding me because my music is similar. So, and that doesn't reflect my social media as well. You know, I've got less than a thousand followers on rob jam web on my instagram um i've got nine thousand followers i think eight thousand followers on tiktok but that's a different thing so that's that however what i did do this year was i 23 years ago let's cut let's go back a bit 23 years ago i released a hit single and it came out before downloading and streaming existed and it was a successful record in the uk pop charts however i re recently did a video on tiktok back in april and explaining how i made that record and the video went kind of semi-viral. It clocked up like three quarters of a million views, which is good for me. Um, and basically, people then remembered the song, and those people also went and actively sought out that song on YouTube and Spotify. And then all of a sudden, the uh, streaming count of that single went from 30,000 last year to 106,000 this year. And if you look at the, the screen now, you can see there's 106 thousand streams 39,000 listeners seven and a half thousand hours and 115 countries um but that is because i did a promotion video on tiktok and it kind of went through the roof and clocked up nearly a million views so that kind of reflects the tiktok video had i not done the tiktok video those figures would be a lot less so but that record had already been a success 23 years ago so it was kind of just like you know just revamp it so to speak um, but back to the Rob Jam web stats, um, if you see, you know, it's 23,000 um, based on the fact that I've only released five singles this year and I've not submitted to any of the playlists. They've just been picked up through the algorithm and popped on certain playlists. And I also use the Spotify um, submit your song thing every time I do that as well. And eventually, if you keep doing that, something will come through. However, the purpose of this video was just to not slander anybody, not slate anybody, not diss anybody, not expose anybody just to show people who I teach and who I mentor and those kind of people not to give up and not compare yourself to the millions of streams that people that you like get. Even established names, for example, right? Even established names, let's say Calvin Harris, probably, probably gets about 200 million streams this year, probably more, I don't know, um, I haven't looked. But the majority of those will be on playlists as well, yeah? People actively seek him out, but not 200 million people won't, you see, for example they will go into playlists and they get shared and people add it and so on and so on. And they just listen to those songs, those playlists when they're in the car or they're walking down the street with their pods on or in the gym, you know, whatever they're doing, they're not actively seeking out that artist. It's just a playlist of the music genre that they like. So don't let it deter you. Don't let it stop you from releasing music. Don't compare yourself to anybody else's Spotify or rap because a lot of the time it's not a true reflection of the artist's popularity. Don't let it stop you 
But by all means, those who do get millions of plays on Spotify through playlists and submitting it and so forth, fantastic. It's great. That's what we want. That's what you want to be doing. But at the same time, don't let it stop you from doing stuff. That's it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video. And it's totally different from what I normally do. But I thought I'd just get that out there and, you know, show you a few truths of the music industry as it stands. Thank you. And I'll speak to you soon.